We traveled all this way, all this way to the desert. Yes, and we're here watching these archaeologists dig up bones. Exponential decay formulas have been used to date fossils using the carbon-14 formula that we previously explained. We are now going to join a few archaeologists to help determine the age of this... this bone! Houston, we have a bone! Are there any paleontologists here? Hello? I'm a paleontologist. What do you need help with? We found this bone. Hmm... We've been digging these types of bones all around over here. I believe this is a horse femur. It would be awesome if we were able to determine the age of this horse femur. We have a CT scanner back at camp that I can use to determine the amount of carbon in this fossil. I believe the scanners are over here. The, the exponential decay formula here will be used to determine the age of our femur. A equaling the initial value. T is the time in years and K is the rate of decay. And E is an irrational value approximately equaling 2.71 and Y equaling E to a power is models exponential decay. Well ladies, this bone contains 2% of the carbon-14 that originally contained when it was alive. So, in place of Y in our formula, we put 0.02A because the present value is 2% of the initial value. Then the A's cancel out in the formula because they are on both sides. We then take, to undo E, we take the natural log on both sides of the equation. Then we would divide both sides by negative .00012. which would then equal 32,600 years of age. Wouldn't it be cool if we could go back in time to the Ice Age? Besides a CT scanner, we also have a time machine back at camp. Way cool! Let's go! Whoa! 